An ideal spot for a quiet walk in the Forest of Dean can be found here at the old Rusbridge Halt. This is the beginning of the Cinderford Linear Park and there are notice boards along the walk giving you information on local history. At the beginning down here across the road is the Bridge Inn. Just north of the Bridge Inn was the site of the Cinderford Colliery. The Forest of Dean is steeped in history, not just coal but ancient iron mines as well and played an important part in steel production in the late 1800s. There is ample car parking and just a mere 50 metres from the car park are the linear ponds. Here you can see a lot of wildlife, ducks, heron, kingfishers and occasionally if you're lucky you might even see some deer. This walk takes you all the way past Cinderford up to the old Northern United Colliery. This whole area is steeped in mining history. On the other side of the main Colford Gloucester Road stands Lightmore Colliery. The camera is now pointing towards the east where Speech House lies. This was the ancient hunting lodge of kings and princes of England. This area was their playground. This was where they hunted. The path climbs gently from the car park and generally follows the route of the old Great Western Railway. It was built here to carry the coal and the iron from some of the mines that were up here down to the River Severn at Bullow Pill for onward transmission across the world. To the east of the path, looking towards Colford, was the site of another colliery called Fox's Bridge. Now one of the partners in this mine was a person called William Crawshay. Now he was a South Wales ironmaster, one of the many Crawshay family members. Now he was in the Cinderford Iron Company, which owned a huge ironworks in Cinderford. He was also in partnership at Lightmore Colliery as well. These workings didn't last very long because they were finished by around the 1870s. And this was one of the problems in the Forest of Dean. A lot of these mines didn't last very long. They were either worked out or they had severe flooding problems. This is one of the first junctions of the path. You can go off to the right swing right again and you can walk down past a whole of linear ponds. Up there to the west and northwest is Cinderford town itself. Or you can carry on the path that leads you up to Bilson, a northern United colliery. Or you can take the path to the left which takes you back up to the Cinderford Colford Road. Along this path you can see the remains of the old oak posts. Probably taken from the Forest Dean itself. Some of the oak trees here were planted upon the instructions of Admiral Nelson. as the oak was used in the construction of many ships during the prime years of the Royal Navy. The next junction 
Is it Bilson Holt? Now this was a small station where people could wander their way into Cinderford from here which is just where the camera's pointing now and it's where Cannock Foundry used to be and where one of Crochet's ironworks were. Now the path splits, there's this information board here and it shows you where you can take the path down to the left to Fox's Bridge Colliery or go up to the left to Crump Meadow Colliery. Now in the winter it's all very bare here but in the summer it's, it is quite pretty actually, all the leaves are out on the trees obviously. There's an awful lot of bird life and all sorts of wildlife. So if we keep walking, making our way up towards Northern United and the Bilson Colliery was just over there and there was a small place called Letcher's Bridge and I don't think it was that sort of a lecture either. But anyway, let's keep walking. As we walk on through Bilson Holt the ground opens up and on the left hand side is a nature reserve it's called Laymore Quag and it's a damp grassy heathland. It's bisected by a birch wood growing on a disused railway loop that used to be situated here. Let's walk on a bit further. This is the view standing on Bilson sidings on the way up to Steam Mills. Now this has probably taken about half an hour or so to get here. So it's not too bad. Quite a nice gentle stroll in the winter sunshine. Easily undertaken by anybody. This is part of the forest legacy. Coal spoil. This is soil that's been mined along the seams and it's uh, there's very small flecks of coal in this. It's just been left. There's also quite a few wild boar footprints as well. So of course they started colonising the forest. So If you're interested in history and local walks, there's an awful lot to do in the Forest of Dean.